look at this. We're gonna go get inside this 1857 Memorial Museum Residency. So yeah, we're gonna go in the museum now. Okay. Let's get in there. All right guys, so this is the pillar of Sir Henry Lawrence. Yep. You can climb up here, touch it. I guess I didn't show you guys inside the main building, so let's get inside the main building. Alright, so this is the main building. It's all in the ruins actually. As you can see. I did hear from a few people that um this place is gonna get Oh, it's a room. Look at the size of these walls, so thick. So this is the midsection of the, the area. And uh, look at the size of these, I mean, the thickness of these walls. Super thick. And right as we come out, we see this uh, monument. Uh, it's like a cenotaph. Yeah. Alright, so this is a bunion tree. Look at this. Really, really huge. Oh, cannon. Alright. So now I'm gonna go that side. There's the graveyard. Now we're going to the cemetery. trees five trees actually they're like so unique and totally different and kind of like stand out from the rest of the trees here really so now we are in the graveyard I already showed you the residency main building but I wasn't allowed to take my camera inside the museum but here is the graveyard
I hope people don't throw, don't throw these trash and everything. So, um, yeah, St. Mary, St. Mary Church and Cemetery. The church was built in Gothic style in 1810 AD. Now standing only at a, to a height of two to three feet. It is surrounded by cemetery first used during the siege in 1857. The enormous number of casualties forced the dead to be dumped in the ground near the church with no burial service other than a brief prayer. All right, I believe that's the tomb of the, of the church. So uh, let's enter from, the, actually there are two entries. Okay, there's a huge banyan tree. Oh, beautiful wind. Oh, look at this beautiful looking tree. It has a uh, really snowy type of leaves here. Really, really beautiful. All right. So, look at this. Beautiful. This is in the memory of Major J. E. Simmons. And some other names here. Captain J. W. Lesserins, Captain A. E. Johnson, Captain W. M. Carter, Lieutenant E. J. Heck, Lieutenant J. J. C. Brown, five sergeants, two, Corporals and 77 privates of H.M. Bussler who lost their lives here. All right, A piece of history. Right, so this is the graveyard. All the names here and carved the headstones. This one. These are so old. There are many more behind the bushes right there. I'm right beneath this wall. It's the city and the old Lucknow area, the chalk area. Oh, there's sprinklers. I like this place. You know, it's ruins, but just the whole serenity and and peaceful, calm nature of this place in itself is is just rendered pretty. Especially if you're living in a big city, like two, three million people, like Lucknow. And how important this is to the history of the city, uh, to my city. Yeah. And as I said, it's my first time coming here, and. Um, I'm regretting not coming here before. Those four trees, I don't know if you can see it, those four trees, the, the five trees, they're so special. I don't know why they just stand out. They just stand out. I thought this is going to be like a small place, but this is a huge area to cover. But I'm glad I came. Look at this beautiful tree. I don't know what tree this is, but it has this snowy 
flowers or something. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. It's it's one of the one of the unique trees I've ever seen here. <laughs> really. Uh something that I, I, I don't usually see here in my city but yeah, this, this place certainly has gotten me <laughs> got me so excited. Alright. So basically all the graves and everything are scattered around. So there's uh, this Cordelia Ellen, the beloved wife of Captain Lancelot F.C. Thomas Madras Artillery, who died during the siege of Lucknow, 16 July 1857, only at the age of 22. Martin. Beautiful. Oh my god, I just feel so sad. The people have desecrated it. I mean, even on the headstone, you can see people have drawn hearts and other type of graffiti. It's, it's not nice, you know, and through this video, I just want to send a message to everybody out there in India. Please don't do this, guys. Because it's just pulling our name, you know. I mean, these are something, some things that are so close to our place. This is our heritage, and we shouldn't be desecrating it like this. Look at this. I mean, it's such a serene, beautiful place, right? You shouldn't be destroying it. I mean, I have to give it for the people who are maintaining the grass and everything. It's beautifully kept. All right, so I didn't go to that part of the cemetery, but I'm gonna go there some other time. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful calm breeze. Wow, look at this. You can see the leaves and flowers moving, right? Waving. Look at this. Beautiful. We went that way. And I showed you guys all that area. But there's this one way as well. I forgot to show it to you guys. Look at this huge tree. I'm so happy coming here. I can't believe this is my own city. These are the trees that I was talking about. These five gigantic thick trees. They stand out, definitely. There was a headstone right there. some other graves of British soldiers and their families Right, so now we're moving to the other gate that I showed you guys before, which is right adjacent to the symmetry gate. Oh, and also, I think they've been so kind to have instructions for blind people, so that's that's a good thing. Okay, so oh, this is a prohibited area. We can't go in there, but let me just show you. So this is the protected area, the garden area. It's a huge garden, I can see spray flowers. This area is protected, it's prohibited for tourists and other people visitors to go in there. But you can see from here. Oh, this is basically a way that goes to the main road. So I'm gonna go ahead in that way. All right, so we're gonna go straight on that side.
These are those three trees that I was talking about. They stand out. I don't know what trees these are. Right in front of the graveyard. Beautiful trees. Look at this. another cenotaph or pillar of some kind can't go in because it's on the door is on the, I mean the gate is on the latch but it's right in front of the museum and the main building here it is So right when you enter from that side, you can decide to come this side or you can just visit the other buildings and stuff and the museum and then go backwards the way I went and then come straight down here and then check the whole place out. Yeah. So that was just the half part of it basically. Um, oh, you got toilets as well. Here. And uh, there's drinking water, museum obviously, and there is some type of shrine I see. I think it seems like an Islamic shrine. And there is Begum Koti. Okay, this is Begum Koti. Begum is used for the wife in Urdu. So this has to be the house or goatee built for someone's wife, that's for sure. But I don't know whom, but... Oh, here is a shrine. Kitchen house, we're gonna go there afterwards. But first, we are at Begum Goti, so let's enter the Begum Goti. All right. You know what I don't like about this place? I mean, it's beautiful and everything, but... I just don't like people throwing trash everywhere. And that's something they should avoid. All right, should we get in? So here's the info. Okay. Here it is. Look at this. Ah. Uh, it's ruins. A lot of squirrels and uh, obviously a lot of Begum Koti ladies' quarters. So basically, this was ladies' quarters. Yeah. Really beautiful place. Nothing much actually this way, but yeah, this is it. Oh, there's some kind of ruins there as well. Oh, there's a parrot. Look at that. The green parrot. Whoa, man. Look at that green parrot. Hey parrot. Oh. Here's uh, a brave little some kind of fruit hanging from this tree. I don't know what this tree is of. But I can see some fruits. Take a look at that. Alright. Now as we came out from the Begum Goti. Now we're going back. And from this Place we're gonna take to the left, which I don't know what is it, but oh my god, look at that! I mean, this tree I think this is a neem tree and it's surrounded by other trees, and it's looking so beautiful like 
absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it? And it's nice that we put like dustbins and everything. Uh, there's a place for drinking water as well. I guess that's a well. That's a water well. I'm not gonna go in there because I'm really scared of steepness. There's also a mosque, so we're gonna possibly go there as well. Oh, look at this. And that's, that's toilet right there. So many parrots. All right. So here we are. We are heading to the mosque and some other ruins right there. Yeah, there are some other ruins. Look at these aerial roots coming down from the bunion tree right there. <sighs> Just like you get both things, apart from it being um, a heritage place having uh, so much history attached to it but also apart from that you have uh, you know like a botanical space for so many trees and just greenery I'm not really sure whether where I'm going is actually the way but because I kept on following the way and the way kind of like just ended up so I'm gonna I'm, I'm just following whatever I can so yeah we're going to that place uh, those are the ruins. Look at this tree. Oh, beautiful. Okay, here we are. I don't know where we are at. I think I'm in the, I'm in the wrong, wrong way or something. But we gotta go check that place out so uh, uh, I can go this way but I'm scared of snakes and everything so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna follow cement track or some real track okay oh look at this this is a mosque A very ancient old mosque. Look at this. And it's still active actually. Oh, look at this. All right. Here we are. Oh, such a cool wind blowing. It's the month of January. Oh, look at this, we're gonna go this way. So many trees, squirrels, and there's a mosque. Okay. Right. Oh, look at this. Ruins, bushes, bunion trees, so many. Must be a decade old tree. Oh, look at this place. Oh. Such a desolate place. Look at that squirrel. Enjoying. Hey, squirrel. Oh, the squirrels here are so strong. Unlike the ones that you found outside. 
And there was the mound here. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Okay. Those are the officers below. Anderson's post. Okay. So here is the Anderson's post. It's also in ruins. Oh, I'm the only person here. And also there you can see some ruins. I'm not gonna go in there. Let's go back. Oh, it's all jungle. Alright guys, so that was the end of our trip. I hope you enjoyed this trip to the residency here in my city look now. Uh, stay tuned for flight reports and plane spotting stuff that's coming up soon. <laughs> now I'm heading uh, back to the main entry exit gate and uh, Yep, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh, we're back to the mosque. Look at that. This mosque is still active, actually. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. Wow, feels so amazing. Oh, I wish you could feel this amazing wind that's blowing here. Check out all the leaves falling down. Look at that. Hey, Daddy. <laughs>